Back from the break, one more guitar album that came out posthumously is the uh, Transfusion album, which is that one there. And um, once again, if you have a look at the back of the CD there, um, you can see um, uh, Frank holding a, a Strat there as well. Different than his blonde Strat, but um, nevertheless, um, you know, the, the Strat sound. Now, let's talk about... Um, styles okay Frank Zappa is probably best known for that really distorted overdriven burning guitar sound um, you know that really you, you just see it just sort of drive you know that kind of thing um, especially during the 80 um, the early 80s sort of thing it was just you'd, you'd sit back sit sit back and wait for the song just to go like that um, to sort of demonstrate that, I suppose, is Shut Up and Play Your Guitar, uh, around about 1979, at the time when um, the drummer Vinnie Colaiuta was with the band. Um, this album, I remember getting the, this um, album home, Shut Up and Play Your Guitar, uh, ordered it, got it, paid through the nose for it, but that's okay, and um, I got it home and it literally, the first track literally exploded out of the speakers and the track was called 555 and this is at a time when um, Frank was playing with Vinnie Colaiuta as I said and what an amazing start to uh, an instrumental album it just literally exploded it's called 555 because that was um, the way that the song was built you had two bars of 58 one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then one bar of five, four, one, two, three, four, five. So it becomes one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, that kind of thing there. Five, 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 eight, five, eight, five, four. And it just kept on going like that. And then Vinnie Colaiuta was went crazy over the top uh, of that um, rhythm, uh, as with uh, Frank Zappa's playing. So for a while there, it was just crazy. Um, drums and guitar, you know, um, getting played together. And that's uh, the one style of his sound. Now, uh, one of the things that's, that Frank Zappa was um, famous for was, and he actually said it um, towards the end of his days, um, uh, the solos that he's most, um, that he's, he, he's most proud of and arguably most uh, famous for is the title track of Zootaloo's, Zootaloo is the song. He was very proud of that. On the same album, there was a track called Black Napkins, which was um, a wonderful piece of music. And one of the pieces of music that makes all of us Zappa fans go to water when we think of his passing is um, the uh, last, or the second last track, really, of Joe's Garage, the last great guitar solo after they've made music illegal uh, is Watermelon in Easter Hay. So much so that um, on his deathbed he was basically saying just go out and play my music, which we all did, that kind of thing. Uh, and um, But the one thing is um, I'd prefer it if you didn't play watermelon in Easter hay. It was a, a thing that came out after uh, a little while after his passing. So um, if you're going to be in a Zappa cover band, um, there's a few ups and downs happening at the minute about trademarks and all this sort of business um, with the Zappa Family Trust. But essentially um, it was go forth and kick ass, I think he's, he said to his uh, vocalist Ike Willis, go forth and kick ass and um, play my music. But um, I'd rather it if you didn't touch Watermelon and Easter Hay, Black Napkins and Zootaloo's, which is sort of funny because so many bands sort of play it because they're brilliant tracks. Um, and that's their three signature tunes that um, Frank Zappa was particularly proud of as far as guitar solos. And there you go. Uh, okay, so that's a, a little bit more about um, uh, the the kind of things that Frank Zappa was doing with guitar. And I'll follow this up again after the break.